21 years old, Devon Jordan shot and killed Jeffrey Johnson inside his garage. Kevin Cullen was robbed, beaten, and killed allegedly by 17-year-old Emmanuel Harris, 16-year-old Malik Page. Take a risk. The market is unsustainable. Wall Street is a competition. Nothing can stop. Take a look at the amazing things that we have planned. The new era of American excellence. Calling out to the next generation of pioneers. All we need to build it are men of vision. Men like you. Stop. Investing on in Wall Street was very much like the Wild West. Buy 150,000 shares at any price. Hey, I'm built different. A different breed. Them shots you call. Be missing me. Our clients, our competitors, they don't respect us because of the money. They respect us because we do not make mistakes. 34-year-old Ezekiel Hopkins facing charges including two counts of first-degree murder. John and Jay Savey. Police say the father and son were killed last week confronting a car burglar at their home in this Windermere-gated community. 29-year-old Ariel Maynard is responsible for shooting and killing Jacqueline Avon. Simeon Adams shot and killed Nathan Trapezano on his morning walk near his home. He arrested 19-year-old DeAndre White, killed 25-year-old Doug Cantor and hurt 13 others. Anthony Lewis was 16 at the time of Leslie Baker's murder in May. He since turned 17. A former NFL player, Philip Adams, a prominent local doctor, Robert Leslie, his wife Barbara, and two grandchildren, nine-year-old Ada and five-year-old Noah, gunned down in their home. Outside, 38-year-old James Lewis, who had been working at the property, also found dead. Accused cold-blooded killers wanted the man's luxury SUV. So is this a part of a frightening new trend? This morning, police say these four men arrested late Friday night for their alleged role in the tragic holiday shopping mall carjacking might be part of it. Four suspects arrived in a Chevy Suburban SUV. They allegedly discovered Dustin and his wife, Jamie Friedland, leaving the mall. That's when investigators tell ABC News the carjackers struck. Jamie watching as her husband was fatally shot. Two men left in the Suburban. The other two sped off in the stolen Range Rover.